Hello, in this video, we will be going over the FNAF clock system, and also implementing a certain number of nights in order to win the game. Here is a small overview on what I mean. We start off with 12 AM. We then increase slowly to a finish time, I set mine up to 6 AM, but that can easily be changed. After like 5 nights, the game will pause and say we win. In the future, we can deal with custom nights. However, for now, let's just start off with creating our system. First off, we will need a game mode. This will manage our game such as our clock and many more features in the future. In order to create a game mode, you need to right click and go to blueprints. Then in this list you can find the game mode base. We will be needing this. Once you have it, name it something like GM underscore game. We will make more game modes for main menus, custom nights, and even mini games. In order to make sure the level uses the right game mode, you will need to find world settings in the settings tab, then go to game mode override, and select your game mode. Open up the game mode, and go to event graph, you can delete the event tick and then create a few variables, two integers which will be the starting time and the finish time, 12 am and 6 am. I will also add a float variable which will be the time rate, this is how fast the game goes, if a game hour would take 30 seconds or 1 minute etc. I will now set some default values. As this is a tutorial, I will go for a quick time rate. Now to make the clock event, create a custom event. Then make sure that we set a current time, by getting current time and adding a 1 using integer and integer. We will then need to use a branch, to check if the current time is greater than 12. This is so we can set the time back to 1. So instead of 12 am then 13 am, it goes from 12 am to 1 am. For true, put the current time as 1. We still have a function to do later for in between, we will skip it for now, and add a branch. This branch will check if our current time is equal to our finish time, this will mean the night is over. For true, we can just print out a string. I will also be doing this a bit later too. This is the clock event, partially finished. We can make a new event which is to update the clock user interface. Right click and type custom event and add it, and call it update night text or whatever fits this. Also, this is the missing function for the update clock event, we just need to put it in the false. We also connect it to the set current time, like this. Once this is hooked up, go back to the content browser so we can make our widget for time and night. Now this is quite important, if you have a main widget for your player, you can just put your clock and time, I will be creating a new widget just for this clock and time. I will split all my features into components, that way, if I wanted to, I can add my widget to the main player widget in the future. This way, this video can be used as a standalone or as a series. Open up the widget. It's pretty simple just wo texts, one for the night and one for the clock. First, let's do night. Just drag out a text and type in night one. I will then rename this text variable to night text. This way I can edit these values in blueprint. However, I forgot to tick the is variable checkbox. Make sure to tick it. I do this later in the video. I can then duplicate it and do the same for the time. Instead write 12 am. Now, I will show you two ways of having a widget. First the alternate way, if you don't have a main player widget, like the one I created for controlling camera rotation, you can just go to your player character and create a widget, add it to viewport and promote it to variable. Watch the small video on this screen, I play it slowly. I can also make this small clip into a proper sized video if you want it, but high chance you just want to use one player widget, instead of multiple. But the way I do it, as I already have a main player widget and I want to try reduce duplicating code. I go to the main widget, I search for that clock widget and just drag and drop onto the canvas panel. 
I then make sure that the anchor which is the button the right, I make sure it is for the whole screen, this is that whole square symbol. After this is selected, I can then make sure that the offsets are zero so it fills the whole thing. I can compile and save but now I have to fix the ordering, with widgets, you cannot interact with widgets under another widget. For me I have to put the clock widget as the last thing, so I can interact with the buttons, so I can hover and rotate left and right. Alright, now that the widget is done, you can go to your game mode and we will be using the event begin play. We need to first cast to our player character or pawn. This will be get player pawn. We can promote it by dragging out from the blue and writing promoted to variable so we don't have to keep on casting, in the future, I will replace casting with interfaces. But anyway, we need a slight delay before we update our widget. Let's now do our widget function. I get my character reference variable, and get my widget reference, I called mine player view reference from the camera rotation video, from there I can drag off and get the clock widget that we made. Now I try to get my references to those texts, but since I forgot to tick the is variable button, I cannot use it. So I go back to my clock widget, and make sure to tick the checkbox, for both the time and night text. Then I go back to my game mode to continue the function. From the clock widget, I get the time text first. I then do a set text, the text would be current time. So get current time from variables, and from there drag out to text. We can make it have two integral digits. We then want to make sure our clock has an AM or PM. So to do that, we have to use a format text node. We then have to make an inner input. We have to use curly brackets and then write an input name in it. I will do time. Outside the curly brackets, I will write AM. This would mean it show 2 AM, rather than just saying 2. Now back to the event begin play, we can call the update time widget function so our widget is correct. After, we want to do a set timer by function name, this will repeatedly call our clock function. Make sure the function name is correct. The time would be the variable time rate, that we created earlier, and make sure to switch on looping. For testing, I will change the time rate, this will be how quickly the function is called. I want to update my hour every 2 seconds. I will quickly test to see what happens. It works and it seems it prints when we are finished with the night, for now it does increment the hour to 7 am, I want to quickly update the night text widget too, and then finish off with the completing the night. In order to do the night, we need a new class called a game instance, these store values across levels, we can use the game instance to save and load, including getting what night we are on. In order to create a game instance, we need to right click on content browser, click blueprints, and search up game instance. Name it something, you can only have one game instance you might as well call it gi underscore project name. With game mode, you do that in world settings but for game instances, you need to do this in project settings. Go to settings, and find project settings. Find maps and modes, and you can find the last category being game instance, this is where you set your game instance class. Please open the game instance and make a new integer variable called current night. The default value would be 1. Remember to compile and save. We can now go back to our game mode, at the very start of the event begin play. We can just write cast to game instance game, and then our object would be get game instance. We also want this to be a variable, right click the blue return value so we can promote it to variable. We can now continue with our update clock function, adding in our last bits. After the print string you can do a clear timer by function name that way it does not continue increasing the clock, we need one more widget which will say that 5am to 6am and create a widget. Open it up and you can design it however you want. I am just going to have a black image with a text. The black image can fill the whole screen, using the fill anchor and having the offset as zero. I will add in a text, which I will name as time. We need this later for an animation. You can then center the text in the middle, 
with the anchor. In order to keep it centered, keep position at zero. And instead adjust the alignment to 0.5. You can do some other adjustments if you want to change font, size, and anything else, but I am going to move on to the text animation. There is a green button at the bottom with the word animation. This will be the flashing text. The actual animation is easy by just changing the opacity. If you go to track, you can select your text. Now click on this track button and you will need to find render opacity. In order to add a key, you can move this line to the next spot. I will pick 0.25 and then change opacity to 0 and press enter. I will then go to the next time and then put it back to 1 and this will make a quick blinking effect. In the event graph you can drag out your text animation variable and do a play animation. Adjust the settings if you want. My preference is to leave number of loops to play as zero, so this can blink forever until you stop the animation. I will add a little delay of one or two seconds and then I will set the text for time as 6 am. This will give that cool transition effect going from 5 am to 6 am. After that, you would want to add another delay of one second so you can stop the animation afterwards. I go in to quickly change the loops to zero as I forgot a bit earlier. Anyway, let's go back to the game mode to add this widget. After clearing the timer, you want to create widget and select your one. Then add it to viewport. After, get your game instance reference and the current night. You will want to add one integer and integer. And set the current night. So we can go to the next night. After, do a little delay, you can also play your sounds here and other effects and now we want to check if we finished all the nights or not. In order to do that we need to get game instance reference variable, get current night and get an integer equals integer. The B value would be 6 or something. Since a normal game is 5 nights you would want to have it equal to 6 since the fifth night counts as a level. Next do a branch, and for true, do a print string and say that you completed the game, and also pause the game. However for the false, you want to do an open level, where we reopen this game map again but we set up a new night. Make sure that your level name is correct. In the future M I want to make sure we go through lots of secrets and custom settings. Finally, we are pretty much done, we just need to make sure that the widget says the right night. We can go to event begin play, and do it after this delay, maybe shorten the delay. And then get most of this update clock code and duplicate it. The only difference is getting the night text and also a different format text input. For the format text, we want to say night, curly brackets x, dot as an example. Also, we want to have a to text node, which you can duplicate over as well. Now go check if everything is linked up. Now, we can finally compile and save, and check if it works. As you see it should work. Hopefully it works for you and if you have any errors, please comment below so I can help you. Hope you enjoyed this video, and more will come soon. Consider subscribing and sharing and see you soon.